Only on two. For the first time in 18 months, we are hearing from the mother and wife of a father and a stepdaughter who were killed after a car accident led to a fatal double shooting in Georgetown County. News News' Riley Benson joins us live in studio. And Riley, you spoke with the mother this afternoon who says the last year and a half have been a major struggle. Yeah, Brendan, Kimberly Wall's husband and daughter were shot during an altercation after a car accident, later dying at a hospital back in August of 2020. For the first time today, Wall is speaking out about the tragedy. It was supposed to be the beginning of a new chapter for Kimberly Wall's daughter, Laura, who had bought a new home. Laura's stepdad and Kimberly's husband, Nick, was helping with renovations. And my trailer's locked. Can you bring the keys? And so I said, sure, I'll bring them. And my husband's like, no, let me run them down there. I got to take that carpet up anyway. Nick grabbed the keys to his stepdaughter's trailer and headed out the door. He drove down the road and met up with someone who was picking up old furniture. That man would later become a third victim. He kissed me goodbye, said I love you, and out he went. And 10 minutes later, I got a phone call. My phone started ringing from people. Um, and her father, my ex-husband, actually called. And he said, something's happened. They've been shot. Just as Nick was pulling into Laura's driveway, deputies say he was rear-ended by Taishin Walters. A bystander wanted to report the accident. Walters refused and instead became angry, grabbing a gun from his car. And he came back and shot my husband twice in the chest and shot my, shot my daughter in the arm and in the head. Kimberly Walls says living on without her husband and daughter was something she never imagined she'd have to do. It's almost two years and it just doesn't seem, it seems like it, we just went through this yesterday. I don't, I don't know. It's just hard to move on. Recently, Wall says she learned of a memorial being held for her family this weekend in Georgetown, but says she wasn't contacted or asked ahead of time. And while appreciative, she's frustrated she hasn't been included. Nick and said, hey, did you know there's a walk? And I was like, what? A walk to remember for Nick and Laura. And I said, I don't know anything about that. Nearly two years later, Wall says it's one day at a time as she works to pick up the pieces. It's not a day goes by that I don't think about them and just wonder why. Make sure you tell the people you love you love them. Now, Wall says she's hopeful Walters will be scheduled for a court appearance soon to begin the trial. Walters remains in jail without bond. For now, live in studio, Riley Benson, Count on Two.